Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're gonna take a look at the Apple AirPods Max. Now you can pick these up from Apple, I'll throw the link up in the description, the price on these, 550 bucks. And on a side note, if you live in New York City, after taxes, that's 600 bucks. Now I know what some of y'all getting ready to say, the price is too goddamn high. I know. But let's go into this with an open mind, you never know, these might blow me away and be worth every penny. But just keep this in the back of your mind. As of right now, the best headphones with active noise cancellation are the Sony M4s. Now you can find these on Amazon right now for 280 bucks. 30 hours battery life with the fully functional app. Now are these worth double the price? Let's find out. Let's go through the specs first. Now these come in five different colors. You got space gray, silver, green, blue, and pink. Now the Bluetooth version 5.0, you got the Apple H1 chip in each ear cup, you got nine microphones, eight for ANC, three for voice. Apple designed dynamic drivers, adaptive EQ, transparency mode, spatial audio with dynamic head tracking, active noise cancellation, you got a digital crown that allows you to play, pause, skip and reverse tracks, raise or lower the volume, and activate your voice assistant. Now the battery life on these is 20 hours. Then you also got fast charge. So five minutes of charge will give you one and a half hours worth of playtime. And they also come with a smart case. Now when you put the headphones in the smart case, and that automatically puts them on low power mode to save some battery. All right, so all of that for 550 bucks plus tax. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. White shoes, calm down. All right, right on that tail. All right, here we go. Apple AirPods Max. Now, as far as the name, <laughs> I don't know. All right, AirPods, AirPod Pro, those are AirPods. AirPod Max, <laughs> it is what it is. Nice, clean, white box. All right, there's the smart case. Giggity. Here we go. No unboxing knife necessary on this. Let's get into it. Okay. Now, one thing I love about Apple products is the presentation. So let's enjoy this. Here we go. Inside. Now, I went with the silver. Okay. Whew. These look sick. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else you get. Now, this is going to be your usual books and shit. Pluck them and follow them. Let's see. Do we got any Apple Troll stickers? No Apple Troll stickers this time? Nope. Let's just make sure. Okay, that's kind of a disappointment. No Apple Troll sticker. I just happen to have one on deck anyway. Here it is. <laughs> okay. Now this is going to be your, let's see, USB Type-C to lightning adapter cable. I right, shoes, inspect that for quality. And that's pretty much it. Now for the headphones themselves, let's take them out of the smart case. Okay. Got a little protection over the cushions. Okay, here's my initial impressions. The weight on these is insane. This is the definition of quality. Now, before I even listen to them, here's already one of the differences that I could tell between the Sony M4s and the uh, Apple AirPod Max. Premium materials. You see with the M4, these are plastic, kind of feels flimsy. This is stainless steel, all right? Stainless steel with anodized aluminum. Let's do the smell test on this real quick. Mm! Oh yes, <laughs> these smell like the adamantium silver, all right, from Wolverine's claws. This is premium materials right here. On the top, okay, a little mesh pattern in the headband. Let's do the stretch test. All right, so no matter what size dome you got, you're gonna be able to fit these. Let's see, now these don't fold up. Look at these cushions, whew, super soft. That's why I said you got to keep an open mind when you're buying tech products. All right, everybody jumped on the bandwagon and said these were too expensive. You got to hold these in your hand first. All right, the difference in the weight is night and day. Now, on a side note, some people prefer lighter headphones because if you're going to wear them for 10 hours straight, you don't want them to be too big and heavy. But this is what I'm talking about. This is premium materials. Let's take a look at the uh, smart case. Okay, now this case, let's see. A little... Okay, oh, okay, 
That was that. Let me let me see. Okay, kind of smells. It kind of has a leatherish feel to it. I don't think it's real leather though. On the inside, soft felt material. Okay, and that's pretty much it on that. Okay, designed by Apple. Real nice. Let's see. Little magnet enclosure in that. Real sexy. Now, for the actual headphones, on one side, here's your digital crown. Okay, just like the uh, Apple Watch crown. Let's see. Okay, nice rotation on that. And this is going to be your multifunctional button. That's how you activate noise cancellation and transparency mode. Now, the digital crown does have a click. So play, pause, skip to the next song, reverse, volume up and down. You're probably long press for Siri or just as I always on Siri. On the bottom, this is going to be your, let's see, is that, was that lightning? Yeah, this is a lightning adapter. Let's just make sure. That's kind of weird. They should have just went with USB Type-C, but why not? You already got an iPhone cable in your pocket. Use the same cable to charge up your headphones. I just can't get over the weight on these. I'm already feeling these. All right, so let me grab a phone. We'll pair these up, and we'll start our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we'll be back in. Now, let's go through everything. First, let's see how easy it is to put them back in the smart case. So you just grab the case. Slap them right in, close them up. Real simple, and on the bottom, you got a little groove so you can still charge them up in the case. Now to charge these up, real simple, grab the lightning adapter, plug it in, and you got a little LED that lets you know that it's charging up. Now, fresh out of the box, there is an update available, so let's go ahead and update that so we can get maximum functionality. All right, so my phone is still updating, so let's go ahead and look at the headphones one more time. Honestly, at first, I didn't know what to think about these, but after holding them and seeing them in person, I love them, all right? These look so beautiful. Anodized aluminum on the ear cups, stainless steel, got your mesh pattern, super flexible, and the ear cups. The ear cups are so soft. When you put these on your head, it feels like a set of titties wrapped around your head. All right, that's how soft these ear cups are. And just for comparison, look at the difference from the Sony ear cups and these. Again, premium materials. Now, just in case you want a color match, here's the silver iPhone. Look at the sides. All right, stainless steel, stainless steel, silver and silver. All right, you go up at Starbucks, you got your silver headphones, your silver iPhone, you get a silver Apple Watch and a silver MacBook, you're gonna look like a boss. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's go ahead and pair these up. Now I'm gonna hold down the multifunctional button. Okay, you get a little prompt. Let's hit connect. And there it is, just that simple. All right, so I just put these on now let's talk about the fit. The fit on these is perfect. The ear cups, I can't stress this enough. The ear cups are so soft and comfortable. Your ears are engulfed in these. Nice tight feel. That mesh band on the top, super premium, super luxurious. All right, I am loving these. Now let me say this. I know I'm sounding like a hype beast, but if y'all watch my videos, I'm the first person to say fuck Apple when they pull some bullshit. These ain't that. I, these are the opposite of bullshit. The presentation was amazing. The look and feel, super premium. The quick connection, I am loving these already. Now let's talk about noise cancellation. Now anybody that has AirPod Pros, you know this feeling. As Soon as you put these on your head, not only does it get quiet, it gets scary quiet. You ever been somewhere that's so quiet that you can hear your blood vessels percolating in your head? It's almost too quiet. Same thing with the AirPod Pros, same thing with the AirPod Max. Noise cancellation, incredible. Same thing with the transparency mode. When you hit the button, you can easily have a conversation without taking the headphones off. Now, this is the one thing that might spoil this video for me, the sound test. All right, so far, I'm loving everything else. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Let me do a sound test. All right, so I got a classic song queued up. We got Tupac, How Do You Want It? Now I'm gonna start off at max volume, and I promise y'all I'm not gonna sing. All right, Birdman hands rubbing together. One press on the digital crown for playing pause. Let's get it in. 
Okay. How do you want? Woo! How does it feel? Coming up as a nigga in the cash game, living in the fat thing, life. Oh, this sound dope. How do you want it? How do you feel? Coming up as a nigga in the casket, living in the fast lane, live for real. I love the way you rip the beat your hips and push your ass out. Got a nigga wanting this so bad about the pass out. Wanna dig you? All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my God. All right. Now look, I'm gonna be brutally honest here. Okay? <laughs> These sound great. Now look, let me zoom out for a minute. If you're looking for Skull Candy Crusher bass, this ain't it. All right, these sound crystal clear, nice and balanced. All right, balanced sound, but beautiful. All right, audio files, y'all gonna like these. But I will say this. All right, this is the thing that kind of just blew me away. The noise cancellation on these, I couldn't even hear my own voice. I don't even know how I sounded just now. I could barely hear my own voice. All right, now usually I talk loud and I be singing mad loud. I can, I can hear my voice pretty much over any headphones. I couldn't even hear my voice just now. All right, now look, I gotta do the bass test. Let me put these back on. Let me grab, let me grab um, a song to check for a bass. Let's take it over to uh, Nipsey Hussle, Blue Laces 2. Y'all know, now if you don't get that song, download it. Download this song when you wanna check for bass. Okay, Blue Laces 2, here we go. Here we go. It's been so. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Mm. Okay. 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 Woo! All right. Yeah, see? All right, let me, now, check, check this out. When you take them off your head, it automatically pauses the music. These are clean. All right, distortion free, clean. Now it's not that bass that's gonna make you fall out of your chair like the Skull Candy Crushers or the Sennheisers, where it's almost overpowering bass. Clean, all right, that's the key word for these, clean. I am feeling these, all right, I'm definitely feeling these. All right, let's do a little bit more testing. All right, so now let's check the touch controls using the digital crown. So one press for play and pause, that'll also answer and end your phone calls. Okay, no problems with that. Now, if you want to raise or lower the volume, just rotate the crown. Okay, nice and smooth. If you want to skip to the next song, double press. Okay, triple press to reverse. Okay, and long press for Siri. What's the weather for tomorrow? Okay, so all of the controls work. And let me say this. I love this. I, this might be the best way to control headphones that I've used yet. The volume up and down using the digital crown, so fluid, all right? Very simple. You get the exact volume that you want. Not to mention that nice click feel. <sighs> Apple did it right on these, all right? Perfect. All right, so now let's check the call quality. I'm gonna call up Amaya, okay? It's ringing. Out of both ears, let's get max volume. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, what up, girlie? No, oh, uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a different number. Huh? Why, why whenever you answer the phone, you be like, hello? You sound a mad scared. You got to answer the phone with some authority. You got to be like, nah, you got to be like, hello, who this? What's up? What you doing? You, you be like, you, you be like, hello? Damn, bro. You... Ah, you shook, yo. You shook, yo. All right, chill, chill, chill. All right. Nah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me ask you a question now. I need a, I need a serious answer, all right? I need a no BS answer. How do I sound? How do I sound? I'm used... Sound good? These are headphones. These are these are the new Apple AirPod Max. Uh, you like that, right? They sound good. You like you. you all right, so you got to see my video when I finish. You're gonna love these. All right, you're gonna love. You need these. You need these. Of course, I got you. I got you. All right, but I sound good though. S sound like sound like AirPods. You on your phone or you using AirPods? All right, look, I'm I'm whispering right now. You can still hear me. Uh, uh, crystal clear. All right, good. All right, cool. All right. All right. Anyway, all right. So let me wrap this up. I'm gonna call you when I finish this video. All right, one last thing. Bye. All right, all right, my bad, my bad. All right, bye.
All right, my bad. I forgot I got a different phone number. Might be mad scared answering the phone. Call quality of knees, excellent. Now, you hear the person out of both ears, but I can't stress this enough. I love this digital crown. The way you then a raise and lower the volume, just that simple. This is sick. All right, I'm, I'm hyping these up because they worth the hype. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now I'm gonna check active noise cancellation and transparency mode, and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison with my favorite Sony M4s and the Apple AirPod Maxes. All right, so I just finished some thorough testing, and here's the results. Now, y'all know I love the Sony M4s. The noise cancellation is unbelievable. Plus, you got the fully functional app with all of the custom EQ settings, 30 hours battery life. These are top-tier headphones. But ladies and gentlemen, the AirPod Maxes are my new favorite headphones. All right, the noise cancellation on these, I'm telling you, you're gonna have to try these for yourself. You won't even hear yourself talking, all right? Now, I can hear myself talking a little bit with the Sony's on. I can't hear myself at all. Scary quiet, all right? Scary quiet. I am loving these. Not to mention, yo, transparency mode. With these big giant headphones on your head, the transparency mode is so well implemented it sounds like you're just having a regular conversation. Now, y'all know, if you use transparency mode before, kind of sounds robotic. These are the least robotic sounding transparency mode headphones that I use yet. I actually had a little conversation with my mailman whilst wearing these, not, not while, whilst, whilst wearing these headphones. These are easily my new favorite headphones. And another thing, all right? Now, I know, we're talking about price here. These are double the price of the Sony M4s. But when you hold the Sony M4s, and you hold the AirPod Maxes, the Sony M4s are suddenly gonna feel like, like a cheap, like a, like a little cheap pair of headphones, even though we know they're not. All right, these are top tier headphones. But the feel, it's night and day. This feels like a cheap little toy. These feel like premium quality headphones. All right, you're getting what you paid for. Now, my original question was, are these worth 600 bucks? And the answer to that is, without a doubt. Now, I've seen everybody jumping on the bandwagon on my Instagram post. Oh, the price is too goddamn hot. Look, man, I never like to comment on things until I actually use them. This is, uh, this is one of those items that you're going to have to actually use, all right? Reserve your judgment. Now, I know 600 bucks, that's a lot for a set of headphones, but you're getting a lot of headphones, all right? The active noise cancellation is going to blow you away. If you got AirPod Pros, you know what I'm talking about. When you take your AirPod Pros out and you put them in your ears and you hear that little chime that boom, boom, and then it gets mad quiet, imagine that on steroids. All right? It gets twice as quiet. I, I, I can hear my heart beating. <laughs> then when you press the button and you go to transparency mode, you can have a full conversation. Now, as far as the sound quality on these, high fidelity. Again, you're not going to get that thunderous skull candy kind of bass or the, the bass that you get from uh, Beats headphones. Balanced sound, all right? This, these, they actually sounded better than the Sony M4s. That's why I'm saying these are my new favorite headphones. Again, I like to shit on Apple when they deserve it. But at the same time, I like to give them their accolades when they deserve it. And they deserve it on these. This is a home run right here. The Digital Crown, okay? The Digital Crown, you're gonna love this. For skipping songs, you ever had headphones that got touch controls and sometimes you, you, you wanna reverse, you gotta hit it three times and it doesn't work correctly or sometimes, you know, you just gotta get the hang of it. No learning curve on this, all right? When you wanna get to the next song, bomb. Nice clicky feel, two presses right there. And the way they got everything nice and smooth, you don't have to feel around for power buttons and you don't have, one button right here, digital crown. Volume up and down, silky smooth. Hit the button for transparency mode. Hit the button again for ultra noise cancellation quietness, okay? Now, one thing that I don't like though, I wish they would've threw a dongle in the box or a 3.5 cable because when you're taking a flight somewhere, wireless headphones <laughs> ain't gonna really help you when you wanna watch a uh, movie on the, uh, on the flight. You need the headphones. You need a, uh, <laughs> you need a headphone cable. So they should've threw a dongle in the box and a 3.5 cable for 600 bucks. It is what it is. And another thing I don't really like, I wish they would've folded up but that's just me being picky, all right? That's me being petty, petty Roosevelt status. The case, I'm telling you, everything about these headphones, it just screams quality, all right? Now keep that in mind, half of the reason why you're buying these headphones is for the flex. We gotta talk about that real quick, all right? Now when you pull up 
We're in your Sony M4s. Nobody's looking at you. All right? Nobody's looking at you. You pull up with the AirPod Maxes on. People are going to be like, yo, who that? All right, who that? Especially if you know what you're doing. You get yourself the matching iPhone 12 Pro Max. Get an Apple Watch. Get an iPad Pro or a MacBook. Go sit up in Starbucks. Order that Frappuccino. You're going to look like a goat. All right? You're going to look like a goat. And you're going to feel like a goat. And look, man, there's nothing to be ashamed of if you buy these for the flex. All right? You work hard, play hard. Treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. All right? Now, look, these are the headphones right here. You rock them in the gym. Okay, wash your car. Go crazy with these. When you're ready, when you're ready to flex and you're serious about it, this is not only about flex because you're going to see a lot of people on Instagram posting pictures so they can try to look like a boss. I, I'm, me included. I'll probably do that too. Whatever. But, but these are not just about the look. All right, these are not just the look. I thought you was just going to be paying a high price so you could get that Apple Flex. No. All right, the performance on these, first of all, if you got an iPhone, seamless connection. Then when you switch to your iPad, seamless connection. Switch to your MacBook, seamless connection. All right, plus you got audio sharing. So if your girl or your uh, ladies, if your husband or your boyfriend, whatever you're doing, right, whatever, whatever kind of savagery you into, if your partner, your significant other, got AirPod Maxes or AirPod Pros, audio sharing, both of y'all can sit next to each other and listen to the same soundtrack. The fit on these, all right? Now, I said this before. I'm going to say it again. Titties, all right? These feel like two titties pressed on your head. These air cups. Look at the difference. Look at the Sony M4s. Look, look at this one. All right, now, I haven't used these in a minute. Look at the difference. Look at the air cups. Pillows, all right? Build quality. All right, build quality, stainless steel, aluminum. I know, I know. I'm, I'm ultra hyped right now. Y'all know me. I'm the type of guy that always complains about the price for things unless you get what you pay for. Now, if I, if I spend a lot of money on something and I'm satisfied and I feel like I got what I paid for, I don't really bitch about the price. And I'm not going to do that with these. You getting exactly what you paid for. The color match. Ooh, I'm glad I went with silver. You getting exactly what you paid for. Premium quality headphones. All right. On a scale of one to ten. All right, on a scale of 1 to 10, I think this might be my first quad major of the year. I don't know. I got to check my videos, but this is a major, 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 major go. All right, that's a quad major. If you're new to my channel, that's the highest ranking that I give on any product. All right, now look, if you was on the fence and you was worried about getting ripped off with these, you know, buying some overpriced headphones, get off the fence. All right, now it sucks that if you go to Apple right now, all of the deliveries are, what, 14 weeks, 12 to 14 weeks from now? <sighs> Trust me, just order them and patiently wait. But when you get these, that unboxing experience, the leatherish case, depending on which kind of phone you got, the color match, the feel of these. <sighs> <sighs> Let me end this video, all right? Let me end this video right now because I could keep going on with these, all right? I could keep going on. I am ultra impressed. Anyway, Apple AirPod Maxes. I hate the name, but I love these. I, I love these. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize.
a situation where everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're going to buy some of that technology, you got to understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.